Hello everybody, I am Blueberry Piper and we are playing some Sobrado Pets. This is a game on uh, standard. Let's go! So yeah, recently I've been uh, trying to get the level 3 zombie cricket. Haven't had that much luck lately. Um, I usually try to get it to like level 2. Uh, like get a cricket to level 2, then pill it in front of an ox and then you know it gets pretty strong, we can skill it up but yeah, I think I usually lose before I actually reach the end there. So, so you know, uh, I decided to take a break from grinding it and just play a normal game for once. And yeah, this is what we are seeing right now. This is this is how my normal game went. Um, yep, just going to grab the otter. Well, no, I'm not gonna grab the otter here. I'm gonna save the level up till next turn. We're gonna buy a pig because pig is. This is what the pig is made for, right? Uh, just a tempo for a single turn, really nice. Oh, and the trade worked out really well for us right there. But that was a pretty strong team. We were super lucky to beat it. Alright, and now with some otter luck. Ooh, and giraffe luck. That's really good for us. Okay, now do we want to apple or do we want to roll? I guess we do roll. Yeah, I feel like we are probably strong enough to live here. Even if we lose a round, it's not a big deal, so... Yep. Yeah. Turn 3, and I have a 10-10. With some consistent scaling, this is insanely good. Okay. And then we're gonna upgrade the Otter. Okay, upgrade the Draft. That's a really strong unit too for turn 4. Um, plus the... Meat bone is going to do so much work. Uh, got a spider, decided to pill, pill it um, to see if we got lucky. Maybe we could have gotten an ox out of that. Or badger could have worked too, but unfortunately it was a blowfish. And I'm not a huge fan of blowfishes. So we're just going to sell that. It was uh, 4 gold down the drain unfortunately. Well I guess it's 3 gold because we get a gold refund when we sell it. All right. Look at this, look at this. We we have something that's 14, uh, 14 health, so of course I'm gonna sell the otter by the crab. Because uh, once the otter hits level 3, it's kind of outlived its purpose. Right. Um, you can't really buff the rest of your team with the otter anymore. So yeah, it's pretty good to sell the otter after. Um, the exception to that would be if you are trying to go for bison, it will be pretty good to save a level 3 in that case. But yeah, since we have uh, fifteen something with 15 health this early on, I think a crab is just going to be dominating here. Alright, and I remember thinking for a long time about this one. <laughs> Do I want the ox here? Because <clears throat> I feel kind of bad about running ox every single game. I mean, it is a pretty good, but it's also kind of late for it. Turn 6, I mean, we're gonna buy it on turn 7, right? So turn 7 is like the latest I feel like an ox could be good. Um, I'm definitely combining this giraffe. So I have one free slot, I could freeze it, maybe. But yeah, I don't think so. Definitely saving the mosquito to upgrade next turn. Yeah. Um, I think, well, I have a free slot, but I do need a space to buy something else to pill an animal in front of the ox too. So I might have to sell my skunk for the ox to work, and I just decided not to go for it. Yeah, <laughs> not that a skunk is necessarily better, but I might just want to wait for something else. And it looks like... The opportunity arises for a zany play. Let's go. We gotta go for it, man. Two scorpions. We gotta go for it. <laughs> we, we got two scorpions from the upgrade, so... I mean, what else am I gonna do, huh? Not buy them? Come on, that's crazy talk. What was that? Keep, keep the skunk? Nah, man, you don't know what you're saying, man. It's gotta be two scorpions. Um, so there's two ways that this could develop. One is I uh, decide to buy a lot more scorpions and then put a uh, mushroom on each of them to try and out trade every single thing 
every single other animal, but you know, that's kind of flimsy. I figure if we got Scorpion this early, we should go for the other option, which is to combine them, get them to level 2, and start buffing them with the penguin. That's right. Yeah, that's why we pre-buy a penguin. Uh, we're not even going to buff the crab anymore with our giraffe, we're going to be buffing the scorpion with it. Because yeah, I think this is a great opportunity to go for a big scorpion, because that's fun, right? I haven't done that in a while. Alright, there we go. Chocolate, chocolate on the scorpion, that's really nice. And of course we see a monkey, so we're gonna pick it up. This is all just for us to get a big scorpion, by the way. Uh, I feel like if I was, I don't know, I feel like if I just wanted to win, I should probably try and win immediately instead of doing this, I think. I think keeping the crab there would have been better. Because the crab just had so much tempo. And the monkey, I don't know, I feel like this is scaling that we might not need. Hmm, running, running two scalers with this type of team is a bit risky, I think. I don't know. So I think, yeah, that's why we're gonna lose here. If we had, like, the big crab, maybe we stood a chance. Um, I think we definitely did stand a chance if we ran crab there, but... Nope, we lose to a big summoning team. And that was a really strong summoning team, actually. For this early in the game, so... You know what, I'm not too sad that I lost there. This is what I mean when I, whenever I say you need some luck for the game. You don't need luck to roll really good animals, you need luck to not run into that team, basically. Okay, are we gonna win this? No, we're gonna draw, okay. Alright, still sitting at 7 wins. Okay. Alright, now I'm considering mushrooming this scorpion. I don't think I will do it. Yeah. Because it's the scorpion's gonna hit more than 20 attack anyway, so what's the point in uh, mushrooming it? The theory there is deep. It's deep, but I'm not sure if I actually understand it too well to want to get into an elaborate discussion right now. Okay, nice. The stake we put on our monkey. Very helpful. Thank you, monkey. Okay, let's keep rolling, let's keep rolling. Okay. Yeah, I almost feel like uh, a scorpion with a really low stats benefit a lot from a mushroom, but a scorpion with decent stats do not. But a scorpion with that's a 50-50, it loops back around to benefit again. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> a 50-50 scorpion can already trade against another unit by itself so then when it dies having another scorpion is really nice yeah but you of course you know if you run a scorpion even if it's 50 50 um without melon armor of course the scorpion can't have melon armor but yeah a 50 50 without melon armor is a little bit exposed too like it can get skunked it can get out traded by something with melon armor, for example. Oh. oh my god, I keep losing. I keep losing. Yeah, maybe I should have put the mushroom here on the scorpion, but I didn't. I didn't. I decided, hey, it's a big scorpion. I wanted to hit as many units as possible, but sitting on turn 15, this is the spook zone. You never know what type of teams you're gonna run up against at this stage in the game. Um, yeah, put the stick on the penguin. I'm gonna freeze up the flies here. Just because I think for the next turn, we're going to swap either the penguin or the giraffe giraffe for a fly. Just calculating the money. I think, yeah, if we sell either the giraffe or penguin, we're gonna have two gold. So we have enough gold to buy everything in the shop there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. The coconut armor. The only thing that can counter a scorpion's hit. I can't believe it. The only thing. There's only one thing in this universe that can tank an entire hit from that scorpion. And it happened. Insane. Okay. Alright. Level 2 fly. I feel like this is going to help us out. 
to get our final dub. I'm not sure if I should have kept the penguin there. Probably would be better to sell the penguin and keep the uh, giraffe instead, just because they have more stats. But, but with any luck, with any luck, we're gonna win this. Let's go! Yeah, turn 16 win. A bit spooky. Definitely misplayed a little bit here and there, but there, there you go. There you have it. <laughs> Alright, thank you everybody for watching. I'm Blueberry Piper. Um, like and subscribe if you want to watch more Super Auto Pets content. Yep, see you later. Bye-bye, bye-bye.